Now let's do lesson 334. Today, I claim the gifts, forgiveness gifts. Notice that the word gifts is plural. There are so many gifts that keep on giving. The, the amazing relationships that I've built with my children because of treating them as equals, treating them as heavenly, holy beings that they are, has allowed our relationship to be so powerful, so amazing. We don't really have parent-child relationships. We have best friends relationships equals, holy, holy equals, and it is just so beautiful, and the gifts just keep on giving. Paragraph one, I will not wait another day to find the treasures that my Father offers me. I'm entitled to miracles, and I'm going to receive them right now. If God said I'm free, by gosh, I am going to experience my freedom. God said I'm innocent, I'm accepting it. Illusions are all vain, and dreams are gone even while they are woven out of thoughts that rest on false perceptions. Illusions are all vain. It's, it's about making me something other than what I am. It's about puffing me up in a way that is not how God created me or puffing me down, making myself be less than. When we go victim or we go bully, we are being vain. We are saying, I'm going to do it my own way. But of course, it's all false perceptions because all it is is thoughts in our mind. Let me not accept such meager gifts again today. Let's not settle for being a poor this or poor that, or I didn't do enough of this, or look at me, I'm better than, I'm so special, I'm above everybody else. Let's not accept separation because in separation, we are the ones who are experiencing the condemnation. It hurts us. God's voice is offering the peace of God to all who hear and choose to follow him. This is my choice today. And so I go to find the treasures God has given me. Once I made the decision, I only want to know what God wants for me. I only want to feel this love, this joy, this peace. If my purpose is happiness, once I was reading that in the Course in Miracles and my purpose was happiness, I was like, what the heck? Why do I settle for anything less than that? I only settled for less than happiness because I was being vain, thinking that I could make myself not accepting I can't make myself. All I can do is deny myself, but I cannot make myself. God made me. God created me. My holiness, my worthiness, my wholeness, um, my, my joy, my everything magnificent about me is already in me. I can deny it or accept it. Today, I've decided it's my choice to accept all those gifts. Why? Because they were given already. I don't even need to ask for them. All I need to do is receive them. Let me read this last sentence, sentence number six. And so I go to find the treasures God has given me. It's already been done. From the moment of my creation, the gifts were given. It was in that moment that I decided to be other than, than what I am, that I started the game of separation. And now that I know I'm not separate, well, I am receiving all of my gifts. I am greedy that way. I want what God wants for me. Why? Because I like doing the Father's will. It's way more fun and way easier to live when we live from that, that knowingness that we're entitled to these miracles. Paragraph number two, the prayer. I seek but the eternal. I don't want to focus on temporary births and deaths. I want to know that I am here as an eternal being having an experience. This is just a role that I'm playing. It's just so much fun to play it every day. Some days I'm grumpy. Some days I'm tired. Some days I'm happy. Some days I may be sad. So what? It's all part of the experience of being a human. I enjoy playing all of those parts, knowing that none of them can define me. They're just the costume that I put on, a role that I play like an actor plays a role, and then I take it off and, and I'm done. And guess what happens? I get an Oscar for every single performance. I get an Oscar if I'm playing victim. I get an Oscar if I'm playing um, the villain. I, I get an Oscar if I'm in a romantic comedy, or I get an Oscar if I'm going to be all dramatic. It doesn't matter what role I play, my eternal self does not change. Just as the actor, the actress does not change. They are who they are. Brad Pitt is Brad Pitt. But he plays a whole bunch of roles, but the roles don't need to define him. That's what we're doing. Every second we're playing a role. We don't need to role to define us. Let's create a relationship with our eternal self. Sentence number two. Let me start again. Paragraph two. I seek but the eternal. For your son can be content with nothing less than this. What then can be his solace, but what you are offering to his bewildered mind and frightened heart to give him certainty and bring him peace? 
Today I would behold my brothers, my brother sinless. This your will for me, for so will I behold my sinlessness. God wants us to know we have done nothing wrong. We cannot complete in this lifetime, in any lifetime, all of the possible roles that we can play. So some lifetimes were male, some lifetimes were female, some lifetimes were gay, some lifetimes were, were American, some lifetimes were Indian. It does not matter what it is that we're doing in a temporary expression. What matters is the eternalness that we are that has never been affected because God created it free. God created it powerful. When we align with the presence of awareness that is our soul, that is aware of the role that we're playing, then we begin to see that all of the cast of characters in our, in our uh, role, in, in our movie, is there because they're giving us the opportunity to experience this role. I cannot be a mom if I don't cast in my in my movie the the man that gets me pregnant, the children that I get to be the parent to, the the babysitters, the the store that sells me the baby stuff, the school that allows the kids to go to school. I have to have all of those things in my movie for me to have this experience. So there's nobody out there that is other than me. They're just the energy of eternalness expressing itself to give me the opportunity to experience what I'm experiencing. And when I'm done with this role, I get my Oscar. I take a bow. It is, it's, it's just so amazing. I just get off the merry-go-round called this lifetime and then I come back when I feel like it to play again. But what is happening is that we're raising our consciousness. So we're, we're coming back more aware, more conscious, more loving, more compassionate. So we're creating a new earth because what we're doing is we're moving towards heaven on earth. We had separated heaven and earth. We, we separated that because we've been taught that heaven was out there somewhere. And most of us were never going to get there. But now we're realizing heaven on earth is right here. It's in the thoughts that we think. It is a consciousness. It is an idea of blocking love or it's an idea of receiving love. So that's why our yesterday's lesson said that forgiveness ends dreams of conflict here. You start uh, forgiving yourself for thinking any of that is separate and real. You end the conflict. Once you end the conflict, you get to be the presence of love expressing itself. That is how we're going to create heaven on earth. Stop thinking there's anything other than you and begin to embrace it for what it is giving you as an opportunity for you to experience yourself as you are in this lifetime. That's why my sweet um, former husbands, my, my sweet children, none of them, none of them could take away who I am. All of them gave me an opportunity for me to practice remembering who I am because I got lost um, in some of the roles that I played. And then I realized, oh, wait a second, I'm the actress here. I, I, I'm not the role, I'm the actress. And boy, did that change my life. The peace that passes all understanding came over me when I decided to align and accept that I am eternal as God created me. Thanks a bunch, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.